You know, there's a way in which his example is just one of devoted creation. A musician named Phil Corin, who played with him in the 60s, said that Sun Ra taught him that if you find something you like to do, do it all the time. And, and I think the example of, of just a, a complete commitment to artistic expression is one that can change the world. Because I see his musical creation as precisely a response to the social problems of segregation and black subjection in the 50s and the 60s and the 70s and beyond to this day. He responds to those facts, not with a plea for assimilation, not with a kind of threat of open resistance. He responds with creativity. He responds by creating new worlds. And I think that example is extraordinarily powerful to subjective communities, and especially the black community today. One response to injustice in contemporary America could be to create cultural alternatives. And that's the response that uh, Sun Ra pursued all of his life as a musician and as a poet and a, as a kind of theorist and philosopher. So in that regard, I, I think his message remains urgent. How should we respond to injustice today? We should respond through creation, imagining a better world, and then pursuing it and inviting others to come along. <laughs> 